اوكي واحد او خميس او واحد Please can you tell us what transpired today in the uh, podcast of uh, Marginal Can Go Trainers? Okay, today um, the criminal charge fired against um, Rashim Ezeech, the very only way, Benjamin Matibu and them, if you want to see, came up today. Of course, you remember that the matter was came up last on 5th of uh, December, 2022. For ruling on application challenging the decision of the court to control the the matter because uh, the facts giving rise to the alleged things also was uh, two places in another place. So we are urging the court based on the interpretation of the court that the High yeah. Court's approval is not the proper decision for court for them to attend the hearing, hear the charge. So the our objection was heard and adjourned for ruling on the fifth, another fifth option of uh, December 2022. The court said that the view of the fact that the pending appeal, or the pending appeal at the time, on that day, that um, we are joined the matter in the die. I would await the outcome of the Supreme Court decision on the main appeal. So, against uh, the our judgment of um, 20th of uh, October 2022. So, that's uh, what actually happened. Then, um, during in this intervening period, uh, when appeal, the judgment has been delivered on the 15th of September 2023, we got a uh, notification from courts that the matter has been scheduled for, for to commence hearing for today. So we are in court today, and incidentally, the defendants were also in court. And then um, the federal government and the police briefed a new lawyer to take over the prosecution of the matter. So we, we informed the court today that um, the matter was originally adjourned for ruling. So before the stewardship decided to adjourn the matter, seen a die for to away the outcome. Of the of the Supreme Court decision, however, that issues can pass before the Supreme Court does not affect our objection, because our objection on resolution was part of the part of the issue that mean by its court of appeal in in judgment of October twentieth, last two twenty two, so which was not appealed again against by the federal government. So as such, that judgment is still binding on the federal high court. So the special plan directed us to file a press application in that regard and serve on necessary parties and come back on July 4th of the year. So that is some of the actually what transpired today. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you, dear friends, for having me once again. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, we had uh, Bintan Nyoko, the president, just say, um, re-edit and refile application. So in essence, um, all those um, applications that were okayed by the appeal court and the Supreme Court would be um, put away. No, look at what happened. Let me explain this to you. You see, if this application is governed by a different set of facts, what our the 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 forefront of objection before the court was on the fact that the allegation of facts, allegation, the fact constituting the allegation, level against the persons I mentioned, mentioned in the charge, to it, but she was there. Uh, she may, uh, she Benjamin and the, uh, and the, they do what we see. Emanated from several affairs that happened in Alamba State. So, we are telling the court that this court has constituted, has no jurisdiction to determine the matter arising from this child. Because we have a court in Alamba State that can competently adjudicate the matter. So, now, that was part of the issues we raised in our objection, on our appeal, before the court of appeal. During the Nam the Kano's case, during the appeal of file challenging the return of the eight count charge in Nam the Kano's matter. So, and during and the court also resolved that issue in our favor, court of appeal also resolved that issue in our favor. At the point the federal government filed appeal against the Director Court of Appeal to Supreme Court, it wasn't part of the issues they listed for determination. I don't make any sense. Mm -hmm. So now it now there are fellows that see of the court of appeal on that issue. This subsists because it hasn't been set aside, it was not challenged. So, and, and by virtue of the case of this, like, it's binding on the fire high court. 
as it stands today. So, what we need to do is just to, in line with the title of scholarship, to refine the application and obviously in view of the fact that new law is just coming in and also attach the law, the judgment of the court of appeal, possibly is with the notice of appeal they find in that regard to show the court that wasn't part of the issue the challenge at the Supreme Court so that the court will make a, a, a ruling on that. Thank you. Okay. So, okay. Hmm. Okay, that's okay. Um, the next adjourned date is on the fourth of July, two thousand twenty-four. All right. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much. I hope you do. You have any other questions? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, um, could you could you lay more emphasis on um, uh, the last time during uh, the last adjourned date some time ago, um, the the defendants. The, the four the quadro defendants were asked to um, be making um, you know uh, um, appearances respectively where they are domiciled you know state police uh, if I'm not mistaken is that still uh, existing is this still um, going on no no, no that's that's um, that, um, directly about the thing by events okay they were in court at any point in time because wanted to be there yeah? mm -hmm. that's the most important thing the essence of that is to ensure that yeah, defendants enjoy this instance. It's always in court. Okay. So that's not the most important thing. And then um, they're always in court. Anytime the matter comes up, they're here. Because, of course, we know they have no case. They are no case before the court. Okay. So, and I believe um, at the, before the, at, at, at the, the first of time, they will be discharged and acquitted. Okay. So that can assure you that. Okay. Yeah. As an aside, then, um, how is uh, uh, our leader? He's doing fine. We saw him yesterday. He was in court. Okay. But he's, he's doing fine. Yeah, so, and the matter is going on. Um, the same thing was in court yesterday. Yeah. So, but of course, you know, I'm no longer, no longer part of the case. And so, uh, we've done our part. Uh, earlier indicated. I've been here from here for, for a period of nine years. So, at least I've done, I've done my own part and then I have to move on. So, I allow that my colleagues to continue. And I believe they're doing uh, the mutual. So, thank you. Okay. Now, unfortunately, um, I don't want to go. I don't actually. I don't want to comment today about. I comment about the proceeding before the court on them. What's going on there? Well, because uh, having having uh, been debriefed from handling the matter, I don't think I'm competent to comment on what's going on. You can understand that for some time. I've been writing about the the outcome proceedings or irregularities or probably some dramas going on in the courts because I choose not to write about it. Please, and I saw, but I don't want to comment on that. That's okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, like what really happened is for which uh, me personally, which I'm not a lawyer, I'm not into in anything like law. Which uh, I was a little bit uh, downhearted when I saw all the defending himself on the court. But being a lawyer, at least I also want you to uh, throw more lights on that issue. Right. Well, you want to reason. drag me out from where I don't want to come out. Please, please, please. please. I, 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 I said uh, actually, I do not want to comment about the proceedings. And that's what I'm done in Kano's case. However, um, what happened yesterday is an eyesore and an abomination. Right? Because uh, I can't imagine a client who someone is defending, addressing, a center and addressing court by himself. I don't think it's happened. So, and they shouldn't be allowed to continue. Uh, because um, it shows in totality. That he has um, assumed the position of a lawyer. A lawyer yes. And when a client yes. assumes the position of a lawyer from the top, what it means that he has no confidence or, or the credibility or competence of those representing his yes. position. Yes. So something must be done about it. That's how I feel. Because the essence of bringing a lawyer to handle a matter for you is that the person should be, should be the master of law. The person should know it all. And, so, um, and the person should be in a position to defend you. So not to do otherwise. So uh, it's not uh, in college, and it's forbidden under our practice. Yeah. It's clearly forbidden under our practice. A client who is being charged for an offense to stand in court to defend themselves is not allowed. So by our law, and so and then um, I believe I believe the team we look at we look into it and see how to go about it. But I believe they have the all the things to defend it. And so now the position of the file and the facts about the case. Thank you. Uh, yeah, because what I saw yesterday was. Uh, uh, the accused person carrying files like the lawyer when I see you guys coming to the court. You see the volume of files. I said it's a phone level. Yeah, because I saw a phone level on down. Let me know now. Everything about about the matter coming up for hearing the fair court. 
supposed to be discussed during what they call pre-trial conference. Pre exactly. Then when they come to court, we will not push, we will not push our right exactly. to send you to the lawyer. Exactly. exactly. It's only in exceptional circumstances that you can call upon. Probably you want to tell the court one thing, not to address the court on issues of law. Ah. So, and um, for him to mount the dock and start addressing the court, referring to law, is something I consider very serious. Yes, and then, and I, I believe also my them. advice to team to his uh, formidable team yes. is that they should look into it yeah. and ensure that such thing never happen. This is my comment from sideline because I don't, it's an abomination and it's an nice one. Uh, so um, I don't think throughout the period defended in the kind of a period of nine years. Uh, at, any, at any point in time, I just got on law. At all. The court will only ask him, How are you doing? Okay, yes. I hope you're fine. All these things. How are you doing? I hope you're feeling you well. Hope you are taking care of you. We now make a company with personal, 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 issues, concerns, mm -hmm. not on law. So that's the thing, not a just court on law when we are there. It hasn't happened. So I'm not actually, I'm not actually trying to impugn the credibility or competence of those handle the matter. But there are serious issues of concern raised by the actions of yesterday. And I, my advice to them that they have to look in what. Yes, I'll find the problem. They have to. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.